All right, so I get a call from this guy the other day and he calls the Painting Business Pro phone and I, I happen to answer. I said, hey, it's Eric with Painting Business Pro. He says, Eric, oh my God, I'm so glad you answered. I've been a member for a long time. I've taken some of your programs in the past and I just got a phone call and I need your help so bad. Dude, this guy has 200 houses that he's building and he wants to lay them all on me and da 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 and it's this whole track home and they're about to start and he found me and we've been talking and I'm gonna be able to get this job. He said, I, I can have these this whole contract with all these houses if I can just get the right price for him. And he said, if I do a really good job, for these 200 houses, he's got 500 more, and, I, and he just keeps going and going, and I'm just sitting there already knowing exactly what I'm gonna say. And finally, he stops talking, he's so excited and so pumped, and he's like, oh, dude, I'm just so glad I talked to you because I need help on this. He said, so, what do you think I should do? And I said, you shouldn't do it. Then I went on, and he said, oh my gosh, Eric, really, why? And I said, let me tell you why we would never do that job and why we wouldn't even bother putting in a bid because we have tried putting in bids on those in the past and we've learned a thing or two. We've never won any, thankfully. Here's what I told the guy. I said, listen, man, so this is a track home builder. So they're putting up 200 houses and they're trying to get these houses built for as little as possible. They're not trying to pay people as much money. They're not trying to get people good margins. They're trying to get these, these houses built for as little money as possible and then sell them for as much money as possible to make as much profit margin as possible. So the price that they want you to give them is the price that you would be looking to basically have your subcontractor do the price for. If you are able to get a price where you can get the job done and there's a little bit of margin, the margin is gonna be super, super skinny. So that's the first problem is you're making teeny tiny margins on all 200 houses. The second problem is now you're locked in to doing 200 houses with skinny, teeny tiny margins. So the other problem is that this is new construction, which means you're gonna be the painter, you're gonna come in and do all your painting work, and then they're gonna send all the guys back in to do all the, all the trim work. They're gonna put on the outlet covers, they're gonna put on the vent covers, they're gonna put on some of the handles, they're gonna put, up, they're gonna put up some light fixtures, they're gonna ding up your paint job, and then you're gonna to have to come back in and touch up your whole paint job. So it's just kind of a logistical nightmare, and all this while your profit margin is getting, this, this already thin profit margin can just get chipped away so easily. And then furthermore, you're on a net 30 or net 60 day pay schedule, which means you're waiting to get paid until they get the money from their bank and their lenders and then they distribute the checks to you. And if they don't like anything you did or they're wait you're waiting on another trade, it might delay your payment. So now you're in this bind, man, where you've got all this money going out to paint these jobs and then waiting on the money to come in to make a really little margin that could get squashed and if you don't like it, you've got 200 more houses to do. And yeah, they're like, ooh, but then there's 500 more and they're baiting you. And then I said, and by the way, did you ever think, why do they not have a painter already? If this is such an unbelievable opportunity, don't you think they would already have a great relationship with a great painter that they're already working with? How do they even find you and why do they not already have a painter? Well, because they burn through relationships. So the best case scenario for you in this kind of situation is you basically own a high paying job because there's not enough margin for you to hire your project manager or whatever. You don't really need a salesperson, but to hire a project manager, there's not enough margin because it's so much work to handle these that what you'd need to pay a project manager to handle all this eats up almost all your margin and now you don't really have much margin anyways. You don't have much profit, you just have a lot of risk. And so basically you end up being a, a pretty well compensated project manager. You basically own a job and it's just not where there's any money. Now I know it's hard to hear, I know it's exciting, and if you say no, they're, gonna, they're not gonna have any trouble finding someone because they're gonna hit up some other sucker who's like, oh, 200 house and they're gonna get the googly eyes for this huge project that could be many, many millions of dollars, but it's all bullshit, it's not gonna turn out. So. I know that when I say all this, there's gonna probably be someone who says, well, actually, Eric, there's this one construction, new construction project where I made a ton of money. But look, the exception proves the rule. Generally speaking, huge track home, new construction projects like this are not the business that you wanna be in. It's not where there's high margins. It's not the easiest work to do. It's not where you're gonna build a ton of success in building a large scale, scalable business unless you have some really unique edge in that part of the industry. Now, of course, there's exceptions to this. There's, you know, if you're talking about custom new home construction, there can be some really good business in custom new homes. But when you're talking about large scale track home, new construction, I recommend avoiding it. And instead, pour your time into the opportunities that are more profitable, 
where you get paid on time, like looking at residential repaints. It's a great business with high margins, immediate turnaround with cash, cash flow. It's gonna be less work and less hassle. You get paid right away. Or you can go and look at commercial repaints, also an amazing business. Those are gonna be your two highest margin parts of the whole industry. You're better off putting all of your time there where you actually have the margin available to build a business rather than having super skinny margins. Yeah, a lot of volume, but these are the kind of opportunities that you gotta be really careful of when you're building your business is these things that get you googly eyes that seem too good to be true because usually they are. Oh, by the way, uh, the guy thanked me profusely for the advice because he is a businessman, he runs other companies and he understands the importance of margin. And he's like, thank you for helping me not waste a ton of my time pursuing this project. So anyways, hopefully it helps some of you guys too.